Welcome. Thank you for watching this video presented by Cost Store Fixtures. Questions should be emailed to coststorefixtures at outlook.com. This application uses the Microsoft Excel spreadsheet program. Microsoft and Excel are trademarks and property of Microsoft Corporation. A Microsoft Corporation license is required to use the Excel program. The instruction example covers foundation principles and demonstrates the process by calculating the cost of a pedestal fixture step by step. Each instruction example consists of a macro button and a cell comment. To read the text of the macro before clicking the button, hover over the cell to the right of the button and the text of the macro is displayed. Complete the instruction example to develop an understanding and proficiency at preparing a cost workup. The instructions example is on the instruction sheet. The instruction sheet is the window currently displayed. The example starts at row 157. To get to the example, click the fourth button labeled B period 000 example cost workup pedestal. The focus of step one of the three steps is on the principles of this process and how to enter dimensions on the single project dimensions sheet. Example item 1.2.16, feature button groups. This example pedestal features are base, kick, glass, door, shelf. Elevation pedestal buttons are grouped by elevation and feature. The buttons are grouped as elevation, colon, front, semicolon, elevation, colon, rear, comma, door, semicolon, elevation, colon, rear, comma, drawer, semicolon, and elevation, colon, shelf, period. The dimension macro buttons for the base, kick, and glass features are in the first group labeled elevation, colon, front, period. The dimension macro buttons for the door feature are in the second group labeled elevation colon rear comma door period. The dimension macro buttons for the shelf feature are in the fourth group labeled elevation colon shelf period. To enter base dimensions on the project dimension sheet, find the button DMNS underscore one BSE and click it. On the project dimension sheet, you are prompted to enter the shelf width, depth, height section, height accumulated, and quantity. No matter what sheet you are on, if the same DMNS name appears on a button, it refers to this single set of five cells on the project dimension sheet. This example 1.2.16 is completed. Continue the instructions example by clicking item 1.2.17.